Now salt, the common salt that we eat daily and high blood pressure has a direct connection. So uh, in those patients who have high blood pressure, usually intake of excess of salt or taking extra salt over the salt which is present in the food can definitely significantly increase the blood pressure. So salt or common salt that we use in food very commonly tend to push pull the water inside the blood vessels. So in the blood vessels usually more is the salt in the diet, more will be the salt in the blood, it will pull more and more water in the blood vessel so that there will be more blood or more water inside the blood vessel. More blood means more water in short because there is excess of water inside the blood. So more is the flow or more of the uh, fluid in the blood vessel, more will be stretch which is put on the blood vessels and more will be the blood pressure. So more is the blood pressure, more is the damage that occurs through the blood vessel from inside and it can cause more trouble or more damage to the blood vessel which can markedly increase the risk of heart attack as well as the stroke because these are the blood vessels which go everywhere. So more is the salt in the diet, more is the water retained, more is the pressure put on the blood vessel from inside, more is the blood vessel injury from inside and this injury is the most important factor which increases the risk of heart attack, stroke and the peripheral arterial disease. So those patients who have high blood pressure or who have diabetes should definitely should not be taking any excess salt in the diet. They can keep the salt in the diet as minimum as possible. They should not take masaledar or spicy deeply fried food or processed food or salty food or uh, deeply fried food because to make this type of food you need to add more and more salt. So papad or uh, pickles, paneer, dry fried uh, food items should be completely avoided or should be kept as minimal as possible to reduce the risk of increasing or worsening of the blood pressure, heart attack, heart related complications and stroke. Thank you.